Bus tonight on Channels Television. Let's find out what's going on at the NLO Super 8 Tournament Day 3 results. We've been following that competition and we will not stop until we get our winner. Group A, NAF Rockets, uh, they, were, they were strong against JATT. They won that one convincingly 3-1. Delta Stars lost to uh, Giordano FC Roncano by two goals to nothing. And in Group B, Katsina Fidas uh, lost to Aklosendi International Football Club, uh, two goals to one, while Dynamite Force, uh, Spartan FC defeated Dynamite, Dynamite Force by a single goal. There's information that you can use from uh, the NLO Super 8. We'll continue to uh, monitor that one. Um, a lot of preseason games going on. There's the South East, South South uh, preseason games. We'll give you updates from that one on our morning show. But if we have it up, we're going to you know run through it once again. But uh, let's just find out what you guys are talking about on, on social media. Yes, I want to find out what everybody uh, is talking about, particularly as regards the draw. Yes, but this one is on Cristiano Ronaldo winning the Ballon d'Or. Uh, Shoaib Awaisu says, a CR7 now owns the bragging rights in the world of football. Catch him if you can. I agree. Yeah, the bragging rights are now because Lionel Messi is just chilling and we don't know what he's going to produce in 2018 or maybe one, one of, I mean, Neymar can just, you know, get up and play amazing football and they just just done these guys. I mean, no love lost to Cristiano Ronaldo or Messi, but it's been about both of them. And it's getting boring, guys. Don't you think it's getting boring? Talk to us. I want you to talk about Cristiano, Cristiano Ronaldo and uh, Lionel Messi. I want to understand what's really going on and um, this... This dominance that they're having uh, with football. Samuel O'Bright says, Oshana Ike is full of life. Uh, no wonder she glows. She will remain on the spotlight for a long time. Let's go to London. Former Super Eagles midfielder, Sheyo Lofinjano, uh, is standing by. Uh, good to have you on the program, Sheyo. Uh, Sports Tonight on Channels Television. Thank you for joining us. Good, good. Thanks for having me, guys. How are you? Uh, it was, was fantastic. Uh, everyone is talking about the draw. So say, uh, let's talk to a former Super Eagles midfielder and find out what his um, opinion is about the draw. Shayi, what got you talking when that draw was done? Uh, well, it's the fact that we've got Argentina again. I don't know what's, what's the deal with Argentina. Uh, but um, there you go. It's football. Thankfully, we, we played it not, not too long ago. Uh, we played very well. We won the game. But, um, I mean, we shouldn't be... Over carried away, we shouldn't be excited by the fact that we played a friendly game and we beat Argentina. It's, it's always going to be a tough game when, when the World Cup Pro starts. Mm. And I'm sure you've been following this, the, the current Super Eagles team. Uh, you, you did your, your magic in the midfield. Do you have concerns when you look at the Super Eagles midfield? Uh, well, I'm sort of, generally, I, I think I've got a little bit of concern with the team. Um, it's been fair play to them for qualifying um, I'm, I'm picking the top spot. One of the first to qualify for the World Cup, which is um, which is which very very good for the country, for the for the players themselves. But um, let's not get carried away. These guys are very very young. For me personally, this is just my opinion anyway. I want us to go to this World Cup and do well. I've have the guys gain as, as much experience as, as they can, then do it again. The, the next one, the next one for me will, will be the test. If we can keep this crew of players together. Mm. But if you to drop a word of advice before they go to the World Cup, what would that be? Ah, well, it's to be to be tactically astute. If you if you have got a, a team of uh, individual players that are not as talented, we, 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 going at those days we had the JG or coaches, we had the kind of one coach that solved the problem for us. They did it. We needed very very little input from from um, from from managers. We, we haven't got those players anymore. So you need a good manager that can sort of put put everything together. Make sure we're, we're tactically ready, uh, offensively, defensively, and, and you, you, ne you never know. It's, it's, it's a tournament. It's football. Anything can happen. But to do that, you need, you, need, you, need to be, you need to be very much aware of what you're doing as individuals and within units so that you can have, have a, a good tournament. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Sheyo Love in Jano, for your time. Uh, we'll continue to get ex-internationals to react to that dress post tonight on Channel Television. This is where the cotton falls. Let's do this again tomorrow. But until then, I'm Austin O'Connor, saying in everything you do, remember, keep talking sports. Bye for now. <laughs>